Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Leos, this is a Taurus season. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's go in and see what is transpiring. Please remember to like and share these videos. The star of season is from April 20th until May 20th. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. All right, Leos, what we have here is that we see the worries is going to be over. Um, whatever the worries and the situation is, I see some sort of a help is going to be coming in from a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man. And I see some sort of a new start is going to be coming up. Um, some of you who were having problems and issue with your boss, I see some sort of a new start is going to be coming up. So, um, um, the worries is definitely going to be over Leo's, whatever that was happening, whatever that was transpiring. A lot of you were dealing with, with your boss, a lot of problems, a lot of situation has been transpiring in your world. And I see, um, uh, this period for you, Leos, is going to be a period where a lot of you are getting some sort of a help from someone uh, to move forward. Okay, so this is going to be good. So we're dealing with a Gemini, we're dealing with a Taurus, we're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man, and we're dealing with successfully, um, and this is a situation where some of you, Leos, were dealing with a boss, a supervisor, but whoever this person is, is going to be successfully overcoming uh, some sort of a problem, some sort of an issue that was there and what was created. I see a lot of you are going to be receiving some sort of uh, um, help, could be promotion. Um, this could be um, a new job that is going to be paying more. However, this is happening and transpiring. I see some sort of a uh, promotion could be coming up for some of you, Leo. So, um, business wise, I see that a lot of you, business wise, are going to be moving up the ladder. I see changes is going to be coming up. Freelancers, self employment people uh, are going to be balancing out themselves in a very positive way, where I see there is going to be some sort of a transition that is going to be coming up. So expect um, to deal with um, um, the Geminis and a lot of you had some sort of a problem um, with the Geminis and I see um, help is going to be coming in and, you know, the help could be coming in from a Taurus person um, or whether that is coming up. But I see um, that um, some of you uh, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person is uh, going to be successfully um, overcoming a situation that they were dealing with some of you Leos because they are going to be coming out of a situation that uh, transpired between you and them. So it is not, um, don't expect any uh, chaos or any um, on uh, surprises coming up. It is more of things are now balancing out, balancing out, balancing out. And that's where you're at. We have four weeks and these four weeks are really not bad, Leos. Whatever is happening and transpiring, um, these four weeks are really um, resolving situations, okay? So it could be a lot of you who were caught up in some uh problems that was going on that was creating a whole lot of worries for you that you're going to be overcoming this because help is going to be coming in and um a whole lot of you if you're having issues with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person this person is going to be successful overcoming whatever the issues that there was okay let's look and see the nine of swords so the energy of the Nine of Swords is Mars in a Gemini, okay? And when we think about Mars in Gemini, especially in um, this money reading, or this wealth reading, it was some sort of a problem that a lot of you were having some sort of a conflict with a Gemini on the work floor or a, a Gemini that you're associated with that has something to do with business. And now this, this virus is going to be over, especially when you get into the week of April 20 
uh, 28 to 26. So this first week, a lot of this uh, um, indecision um, communication, because Mars in uh, Mars in Gemini, it's about uh, uh, some sort of a problems that would need to be resolved. Because Mars is about a huge tower moment, a huge ending. And Mars is like the, the tower card that bring down um, some sort of an ending. So if some of you were up against some sort of a problems with a Gemini, this is now going to be over because people are now um, recognizing and um, this could be a Gemini colleague and the resolution is going to be in sight as you come to the end of this week. As we look at the second week, the second week is from the 27th of April until the 3rd of May. And in the second week, we're dealing with the moon in Taurus. Okay, the six of pentacles, the moon in Taurus. And a lot of you are going to be getting some sort of a help from your boss, your supervisor, your manager, or getting some sort of a help from people in authority in order to balance. So let's say that you, your business was in some sort of a status. I see some sort of a support is going to be coming in. So this is going to be good. Um, if some of you are freelancers, I see an ex-boss, um, it's going to be coming in and said, hey, but the moon in Taurus is about there is some sort of a secrecy that a Taurus have and it's now out. So whoever the Taurus is that some of you have, maybe it's your boss, maybe it's a, a friend, maybe it's a co-worker that had some sort of a secrecy. And um, this secrecy is now going to be out and it's going to be in um, your foredale um, because people are now recognizing what this person have done. Okay, so it could be a boss, but um, it could be also a Taurus that had some sort of a secrecy and now the secret is now out and people are now recognizing how this person could have manipulated some sort of a situation. And people are now trying to um, rebalance the situation in a positive way. So expect to um, recognize that if it's not your boss, it could be coming up as uh, some sort of an arterial figure that had some sort of a, a secret is going to be coming out, okay? Um, so it could be some sort of an affair on the work floor. It could be um, that a, a boss took some money and never returned it. You know, expect that sort of a, um, examples that is coming up. And some of you could be recognizing this and finding out what was happening. Okay. Then as we look at the third week, the third week is May 4th until May 10th. And we see the energy of the King of Cups. Now, this energy of the King of Cups is always fire in water. Okay? Fire in water. And with the energy of fire in water, it's about, you know, this person um, is that their inner soul and inner beam is coming from a good place. Okay? And sometimes they might uh, um, react in a certain way. But this person could be pushing some of you in a positive direction, pushing some of you in um, a right direction by communicating this and uh, alerting and recognizing and letting you recognize in your potential. So this is going to be very good because this is a situation that is in the second house. Remember that the Taurus season is about the things that is going to be affecting you in the second house. So the second house is about um, the stability of your materialistic stability. And there is going to be someone who is going to be pushing you to your core in order for you to find the potential that lies within you. And this is going to be absolutely fabulous. So this person who is, you know, it could be a co-worker. It could be um, someone who is vibrating 
on a positive energy this person is someone that is going to be looking at you and seeing a whole that you have to give and push you um to create a better you especially when it comes up to your career so this is this is could be someone who is going to be push you up the career ladder in a very positive way and is going to be guiding you as to how to do it and um you are going to be recognizing that um, this person is uh, on your side, all right? As we look at the fourth week, the energy of the fourth week has to do with uh, um, May 11th until May 20th. May 11th until May 20th, we have the energy of the three of wands. And that is the sun in Aries. So this is going to be very good. And then um, the star is period with the sun in Aries because... Whoever takes on a job or a new um, uh, position, you're going to be in this position for a very long time and being very successful in this position moving forward. So however you look at this um, cycle, because we see it as a cycle, we see it as a timeline. This is your second house. It's a, it's something that is affecting your second house. You're gradually going to be recognizing that you're moving out, moving in, uh, moving up the career um, uh, ladder in a very positive way. And you're not cutting corners. Um, you are just taking one step at a time and creating a, each step as you move forward so it's not as if you're running up the ladder or you get a jump or a push up the ladder it is as if um, you are taking it one step at a time because the sun in here is, is about uh, um, you basically creating your own world creating your own stability for yourself uh, creating a better um, a way of financial stability in your world um, by showing what you can do by showing um what you can bring to the table and this is going to be very good so um this is a week if you're getting any performance review a lot of you're going to be getting a good performance review if you um should be open for that or if that is going to be happening to you some of you Aries could be coming in and it's going to be helping out some of you um, to, to, to move through um, whatever obstacles that was there and balance this out. And this is going to be in a really positive way. So, Leos, it is going to be a really... And remember that these readings, and this is why I say, become a member and check out... Uh, the symbols. The symbols play a significant role. If you want to look at two of the symbols, it is what pull you. What what are you pulled towards? Which one of these symbols? Because they're they're going to be advising you, Leos, as to which direction to go in in order to balance. Because this is the energy of your finance, money, and wealth reading, where you are creating this through your your career, through your business sense, through your self-employment, at the workplace, you're showing up for yourself and this is going to be good. I want to say, please remember, use the link below. Um, all the links are below. Use the link below in order to see what is under the crystals. You have to join and become a member. Um, it is just $4.99. There is a lot in the archives. These readings are timeless. They're just upload at a timeline. But you can always go back and look at your second house. So as we go through these seasons, these seasons are telling us what to expect in um, these 12 houses. I do love you guys. I got a girl. Please remember to um, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. Namaste. Until next time, I will see you um, when we're doing the, the symbols to see what's coming out under the symbols. Namaste. Yeah.